Today I'm going to show you how to design your cover graphics in a way in which you will automatically upload to Facebook without any of your graphics being hidden by your profile picture. You won't have to worry about your picture size or the pixels. It will upload perfectly each and every time. I'll be using Microsoft Picture It. You can use whatever publishing software that you use. As you can see I'm a network marketer so Facebook gives me the perfect opportunity to advertise my new video where I'll be teaching folks how to become successful in network marketing. This is a much needed video because you can't become successful. However, you have to have a clue about what you are doing and know what the power of leverage can do for you. The problem is that a lot of people are coming into the business with no clue at all. They don't know what they should be doing or what they should expect from the business. They give up before they really get started. So this video is going to teach them everything they need to know about the business before they ever join a network marketing company. So if you plan on going into business for yourself, this video will show you the pros and cons of starting a traditional brick and mortar business versus a network marketing business. This video is free, so just email me and request to have a copy sent to you once it is completed. This is a cover graphic that I chose to upload to my profile page. You can upload whatever graphic you decide is best for you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a very simple way of uploading your cover picture however you want it where your whole graphics will not be hidden by your profile picture. And you don't have to worry about the canvas size or pixelization or whatever. It's very simple. Everything's going to be done by eye. So what I'm going to do, I use Microsoft Publish It. Publish it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up this picture using my Microsoft Photo Premium 9. Picture it. Okay. Then I'm going to open up another canvas. The size of the canvas doesn't matter. And I'm going to take this picture, I'm going to copy it to this canvas. Copy and paste. Now what I want for it to move around like this. Okay, the picture really doesn't matter. I got this picture here. What we're going to do, we're going to get your, your template outline. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this picture as a, I'm going to save it as template. Save it as, I'm going to call it my template. I'm going to save it as a PNG file so I can move it around and adjust it when I want to. So I've got that saved. Now I'm going to save a copy as template 2. But I'm going to save this as a JPEG file because what I want to upload is a JPEG file. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG file. Now that I got that done, coming back to my page, I'm going to change my cover, <coughs> excuse me, upload photo, and I'm looking for that template 2, which is here. There we go. I'm going to upload it. Okay, I'm not going to drag or reposition anything. So what we have, matter of fact, let me just drag this to see if that is the top. So that is the top. Okay, so I'm not going to drag or reposition it. That is the top. So we can see on the bottom, all everything underneath this here is cut off from my picture. See my picture here? See the rest of my picture is cut off? So we got the very top. We got the very top up here. So I'm going to eyeball it. And right about here is where the, where the picture cuts off. It cuts off on her arm, underneath her chin, and right at the corner of his face. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to minimize this. Go back to my template. And I know that everything under here is cut off in the picture. So I'm going to lock this picture down so it don't move. I'm going to add some lines to make my template. So I'm going to insert line. Brain is lying down. All right. So I know that everything underneath this line will not be in that picture. I'm going to lock it. Now, let me go ahead and make this a little bit wider. I'll take it to about 50. Okay, that's good. Minimize it. Bring it over. Excuse me. Now, what we see here is her arm just on this. Well, let's start with her, her chin. 
just underneath her chin. Everything just underneath her chin is out, so I'm going to put another line in. Insert line. Insert line. Insert line. So now she have three lines. I'm going to take this first line. Make it a little bit shorter. Okay. Now I'm going to insert this. Well, I'm gonna, I think I'll do it this way. It's easier. Go the long way. Take it the long way. Now everything over here, just past her, her, her arm, is, is blocked out. So I'm going to put this here, just past her arm. Just past her arm. Okay, that's good. I'm going to lock that. No, I'm not going to lock it. I'm going to get the other one. Turn it around. So we got this part. Everything past here is blocked out. We got that taken care of. Now his face, everything just passes. This hairline is, is, is blocked out. So I'm going to take the other one. Just past this hairline. So right about there. That's blocked out. Now I'm going to take the last one. Shorten it too. Okay. Everything just underneath her chin, or just underneath her nose, is blocked out. So I'm going to bring this just underneath her nose. Just a tiny bit underneath her nose. Okay, I'm going to lock that. Bring this down. Make sure it's still just past her arm. Lock it. Bring this one down. Just past there. Lock it. Okay. So now, let's take a look at what we got. All right, so we know that everything, this is locked, so it won't move around. Now I'm going to unlock this picture here, unlock, and I'm going to slide it up to us above this bottom line, just above the bottom line. Okay, now I'm going to save it. It's already a template, so I'm going to keep it as template. Now when I'm going to save a copy of it as, save a copy as, template 3 as a JPEG file because this is the file I'm going to upload JPEG save okay so now when I upload the file what's going to happen this whole entire picture is going to upload but when I upload it the only thing that should show is all this here should be blocked out everything else from him up top to him down here these people over here, all this should be in a photo. So I'm going to go back to here. Expand it. I'm going to, uh, that one didn't work, so I'm going to cancel that one. All right, change cover. Upload photo. I'm looking for template three. There. Upload it. Okay, as you can see, my lines right here is about, it's about on the money. Everything underneath that line is showing. Let's let's minimize it. Okay. Minimize this one. So what we got here? Everything underneath this line is there where he is. There's a, we could have we could bring this line down just a tiny bit because his hand is showing here and over here. His hand is well. His hand, it, his hand is showing a little bit. So that's, that's close enough for me. This is close enough for me. So and everything in here is blocked out, like we said it would be. Everything here is blocked out. There's the S. There's the S. There's everything up here. There she is up here. So everything is fine. So I'm gonna go back here. I don't want that. Cancel the changes. Now you're ready to make your your, your picture. So now we got your template saved, okay? 
Now what I want to do now that we got this the way it is, I'm going to take this picture. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to save this as my master template file. Save as master template. I'm going to save it as a PNG file so I can move it around if I want to. Save. So now when I start my new camp, my new picture, anything I want to make, I'm going to use my master template and everything that I put has got to be within these guidelines. Right here, I can type. Okay, so now that I have my master template uh, set up, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a copy of my master template. Save a copy as copy of master template. I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And my copy is going to be the template that I use from now on whenever I make a new graphic, cover art graphic. So let me get to where my copy is. This is my master. I want my copy. Desktop. Drop down. Copy of master template. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close out my master template. And I'm going to put that file somewhere safe so if I ever mess up with my copy, I can always go back to my master and make another copy so I won't have to do this whole process over again. Now remember, now that we have our template set, we can put anything, we can put our picture or graphics anywhere within this area. However we want to do it. So let's go ahead and do one. I'll just open up a picture. Uh, I'll use my picture here. Copy. I'm going to paste it here. Now it's going to be kind of distorted because if you drag your pictures like this from this corner, it won't distort. But once you drag it this way from the sides or from the top, now you can see how the picture is being distorted. But that's okay because I'm only using this as an example. So I'm going all the way across to the first line. Got the bottom and the top set. I'll go ahead and lock lock it there. I should have done something else first, so I'm going to go ahead and go back and do it. I want to add a background color. Insert shape. I want to add a background color. Change my color to what? Fill color. I'll just make it red. Red background color. All right. Go all the way across. Bring this down. It doesn't matter how far down I go with this. Because the top half is only going to show lock. I'm going to send this to the back. Send to the back. Now it's in the background. It's behind my picture. Now I'm going to lock it. Okay, so we got my picture above the first line and to the, f the first line over here of my profile page, my profile picture. Now I'm going to add some text. Insert shape text. I'll use I'll use a circle. Ah, okay, I'll use that. Your text here. That'll work. Ah, then lock this. Lock this down. Okay, your text. I'm gonna use your text. That'll work. It's just an example. Bring it all the way down to there. Slide this over. Slide this over. Now we got your text here. Whatever text you want to type in or put this is what you'll put. Lock that. And then I want to add, let's see, insert a shape. Let's let's just put a heart, you know, a green heart. Uh make that heart green. Green heart, okay. I'm gonna take this heart, magnify this canvas, slide over, take this heart, put it right there. In case I want to put something on the side here, I'm gonna copy, paste, paste, and now I paste it 
One, two, stay there. Now I got three hearts. Paste it on this side of the page. All right, go back down. So what should upload? When I upload this picture, everything up here and above these lines should upload automatically without me having to um, readjust my picture, resize it. But before I upload it, I'm going to take these lines out, delete the lines, because I don't need those. Now I'm going to save this as a JPEG file. I'll just save it as my self. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG because you want to upload a JPEG file to Facebook. Save. All right. So now you do whatever you want. You, whatever your graphics you want, as long as you got it within this, this area here, it's going to upload perfectly. Go back to Facebook, change cover picture, upload photo, look for myself, there it is, upload it, and there it is, fits right in perfectly, all my text is there, my hearts is here, nothing is hid by my profile picture and you can do this for whatever you want to make. I hope that this tutorial has been a help to you. I find that once my template is set it is much easier to make a future cover art graphic and have a perfect upload. I hope you like this. Please comment and share.